Welcome to this recorded uh, demo of uh, an example of a Novacura flow. If you haven't already, you can register and <laughs> and flow along uh, to this. Uh, the uh, web address for that is https colon slash slash go dot novacura dot com slash register and just follow the information and you should receive an email giving you all the information about how to log on. So in this specific demo, we are going to look at uh, a scenario where we first use uh, the flow designer tool to draw up our uh, an overview of of the process, what we how we're going to do it. Um, so in this case, it's going to be a RFQ process, a request for quotation, and also a little touch of uh, configure to order and configure to engineer built into it. And the purpose is to show how we can use Flow to uh, collaborate and share information between different roles. And in this case, it's going to be uh, one role consisting of potential customers, which are probably external to the company, and a sales role, which is uh, salespeople internally, and also uh, a back-end team here uh, consisting of engineers. So uh, what we will do is we will create a flow that uh, as a first step a potential customer logs on and this will probably in real life be a link on a web page or something saying that press this link to uh, configure your RFQ. Uh, in this the first step uh, the user will uh, add some more information in this in a little subflow like this, um, which could contain uh, drawings and other information about this specific flow. In the next step, the user will add custom parts from our part catalog, and when they are done with that, uh, they will uh, send or pass this flow over to the sales department, which will add some cost to the selected items and also be able to add uh, their own cost object. We will look at an example um, right in just in just a second here. And uh, the sales team has the options of either send it back to the customer or send it down to the engineer team. And the engineer team ha has the same option to add items or, or do changes and write comments. And they could actually also send it to the customer in this specific case. Or they can pass it over back over to the sales team uh, and then the sales team could again pass it to the engineer team or if the quotation looks okay it could they could send it to the customer so this is an overview of our flow if we dig into the details it's going to be a little bit more complicated because this is where we are actually also writing information into the erp system um, so flow consists of a green ring here. This is where the flow starts. And in this case, I've added a little, a little uh, box containing flow information. Um, we will take a look at it in just a second, how it looks from the client side. Uh, the first user step here, add RFQ products. You remember we had a little item creation subtask. And this is represented by this little rocket here. So if I double click on that, we the subflow uh, opens and we have access to draw uh, an entirely own flow here. And in this uh, case, I will ask the potential customer to add some information and uh, if they want to also upload files and choose uh, size and colors. And they can run this subflow many times, as many times as they, uh, as m as they have items pretty much. And then we will move along in the flow and these cogwheels, this is where we are writing data to the ERP system. In this case, I am just using a SQL server, um, but it could be uh, with a connector to your ERP system, of course. So in your email you receive after uh, registering to the Go environment, you will have a link that takes you to uh, to the client page. So in this example, I'm going to run it in my on my PC in a web client because I think this flow is not so much built for mobility. You can also, of course, run any flow in iOS or Android. So based on what user I am, I ha or I am assigned to different roles, and in this case, I have actually chosen to be uh, in 
both the customer's role and the sales staff's role and the engineer's role just for not having to log off and log on every time for this demo because I want to show you how when we start this flow here it's going to pop over to this inbox here uh, which is the sales team's inbox and then they're going to pick up the flow and if they send it to engineer teams it's going to pop up in this inbox here and back and forth in that way and then an email will be sent out back to the customer for uh, for for uh, to be able to see what is going on I'm going to make this window a little bit smaller so we can see uh, the process here in the background so now I am a potential customer and in uh, in one way or another we are executing the first flow the request for quotation which could be a link on your homepage or something so I click the, quota uh, the, the, uh, the quotation part. This is just an information message about the flow since it's, it is on a demo environment. So remember the little uh, subtask we had here. That is represented by a plus sign like this. So for each, each time I press the plus sign, I will uh, drill down into this sub workflow. And here, remember again, I can draw my entire big flow there as I, liked it, as I uh, like it. So in this case, I want to do my own specification. I want to have five of the fastest bike there is. And what size do I want? I want to have a size 54. Uh, and I would like to have red bikes because red is a very fast color. And then we are, have the possibility to upload some files. This could be drawings, images, uh, and whatnot. So when I click the select file, Flow asks me to select what sort of file I would like to upload. And I have a pretty good idea how this bike should look like, so I, I add that attachment. And I can, of course, add more attachments if I would like to here. And I click OK. And I have now added one of my own specification here to this uh, RFQ. I can go in again, and then I see I want to have a helmet here. And this is going to be one helmet, um, but blue or something. I can give my own descriptions here. And again, I can upload drawings and I can choose color here down here. So blue blue was a pretty bad example, but, but never mind. So I click OK, and then I have two items here. Uh, and then I click OK. So now I am at the next part. I, I want to name my RFQ, and let's call it um, a very fast bike and then I click OK and it will take me to the next steps now we are here add items from the part catalog and first step this is um, a little overview we have different ways of showing stuff this is just a normal list view so I can see what I've chosen from before I have two attachments with the fastest bike there is and zero attachments on my on my helmet there but here i can also add more items from our part catalog and here we are using something called the grid view which contains first of dependent pick list so if i first choose a category say i want to have bike stands for this as well that's pretty good to have um, an all-purpose bike stand and what color should they be they should also be blue so they match my helmet and if I want to, I can have a size on it. <laughs> I don't know what size is normal on bike stands, but let's make it 56. And we ordered five bikes, so I want to have five stands. And here, if I keep this email me a copy of, of the RFQ, I will be sent an email of the RFQ as it looks right now. Then when I'm done, I click the send request for quotation, where it will pop over to the sales team. So this is all I need to do from the client side to create my RFQ. When I do that, two things will happen. I will get uh, a little uh, one here in the icon in the sales staff inbox. So imagine now that I am the sales team and I only have access to these three flows and I see something has popped in there I need to tend to. And I also got an email sent out to me uh, with containing information about this RFQ. This is just dummy data, so it's not, um, it's not designed at all, it just shows me an overview of how uh, an a email like this could look like. Nothing too, nothing is written in stone here, so this is just an example of how it could look like. So the sales team uh, clicks on the inbox, and here we see all the uh, RFQs we have here today. Uh, this inbox can be sorted by either uh, 
a calendar view so I can see what came in yesterday, what came in today, and, and so on and so forth. But right now we only have one here. So I am down here right now in the sales team. So the sales, uh, someone at the sales team picks up this flow. And here we go again, we see a list. We're using the grid view here. We see a list of what the client wants to have uh, a quotation for. And my job here as a salesperson is to add a cost to this. So I, I think this fastest bike here is gonna cost 5,000. And then the helmet is gonna cost 200 and the bike stand is gonna cost 800. And here I can add some sales specific costs like other, for instance, handle fee and I can add some freight to this and the cost to what that could be. Since it's made for collaboration, I added a comment section here. Please look carefully at this or something. And when that looks good, we click OK and then we get to an, a little overview here of the um, RFQ. And here I see a row, a row total for, for each of the items, uh, which is the cost times the amount or the quantity. And I see a grand total down here. Right now we are at 29,230 for this. So now I have two options as a sales guy. I can either send it to the customer as a complete RFQ, or I can send it down to engineers. I'm gonna choose to send it to the engineer team. And then it's passed on to them and I click okay. So what happens now? Well, it something shows up in the engineer's department's inbox. So they can now click on their inbox and they can pick up the RFQ as we have it here. So then again, in the same way, they have an overview of what the sales team and the customer has added here. And they can in turn also, of course, add their things to it. And they think that to build this um, bike, it is going to take some uh, some engineering labor, uh, 50 man hours times, I don't know, 150 maybe. And we can add some material to this, uh, some steel and some plate here perhaps. Uh, this is obviously just some mock-up data here in a demo environment to keep it simple. I want to show the process much more than to to have actually dig into the details here. And then can also add some comments. Uh, this is it to it. So when they, cli they click OK, they get an overview and the price has uh, been bumped up a little bit. And they do not want to send it to the customer because they prefer that the sales team take a look at it before we send this out. So they send it back to sales. So send back to sales team. And here is the flow back in the sales team. A very fast bike. And it got uh, it now contains all the rows. Again, we can do the exact same thing here. We can add some uh, some stuff to it, to it here. And um, uh, and an overview we can send it back to the engineer or we can send it out now to the customer and here the the collaboration or the rfq could obviously go back and forth from the sales department and, and the engineering team uh, a, a couple of times and then i click send to customer and now uh, the rfq is being sent out to the and the potential customer uh, gets an email looking something like this containing all their um, items and a grand total for it. This is just a, a short example of how you can use Flow to collaborate between your internal departments and your customers. Uh, also please note that uh, we will probably do some changes so it might not look exactly the same when you are running it. It could be changed over time a little bit, but this basic idea should be the same. Thank you so much for participating today. Have a good day. Bye.